Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I've got an update, sort of a surprise update, really a surprise to us too, but you see that I'm in the new craft room. So the countertops came in, we've spent the last few days of getting everything ready and somewhat organized, although we're not anywhere close to being done yet. The room, as of this morning, the contractors left about 20 minutes ago, is officially done. There's no more that needs to be done in this room. It is all together. And what I wanna do for you this morning is kinda of give you a tour of how it's starting to take shape and how it's starting to look and the excitement that we certainly feel in this home, uh, hopefully will convey on this video to you guys uh, and get you motivated to start creating as well. So with that, let's jump off of this tripod and take a look at the new uh, craft room for the Wilson family. Okay, so I've sort of got you on a wide angle lens here. We'll readjust as necessary, but this is looking in through the door of the craft room. Now keep in mind, this is not nearly close to being decorated. However, uh, I just kind of want you to take a look at what we are looking at. We are so incredibly pleased with the way this has turned out so far. Uh, everything is just uh, better, quite honestly, than we thought. We've still got somewhat of a mess to clean up throughout the rest of the house. It's just been uh, discombobulation of everything. Everything just came in early. We were surprised and uh, in a good way. So uh, let's start over in Leslie's area. She does a lot of these dip and dots. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's basically just a, these little uh, dots that uh, you adhere to some sticky paper that creates uh, really cool pictures. Uh, she's got a tribute uh, to her Yellow Lab Indy that we lost, as you guys are aware, uh, last year. Uh, and so, uh, you know, not complete yet by any stretch of the imagination. And most of the drawers have not got stuff in them. Most of the cabinets don't really have anything in them uh, as of yet. So we've still got a long way to go. However, the large part of the work uh, of building this thing is done. She's got her cricket area set up over here for all of her cricketing stuff. Um, and so all the drawers underneath will hopefully at some point kind of help her to create as she stands there and works there in that area. We've got all these shelves that uh, we've got all these baskets. Uh, we picked these baskets up uh, while they were at Costco. We got several of them not knowing uh, how we would use them or not knowing how many we needed. We just picked up a few. Uh, they come in, I think, a four or a six pack and they were they were on sale when we got those. Got a couple of picture frames that are blank up in there. And she had this bright idea, which is an amazing idea to put create uh up in uh somewhere in the craft room and so you can kind of see it here it looks i think just amazing and i love the white we thought about painting them black the letters but i tell you i think they pop and i like the white she does too a lot better uh and so this is kind of around the area here again most of these baskets right now are empty uh, as we've got a, a large job of filling them. You guys know that I'm a huge uh, Pennywise fan, so you can kind of see, at least I've put that shelf up there and together. I've got all of my Pennywise or a lot of my Pennywise stuff as I go through the boxes and, and find it. I'm trying to keep it in one area. We got some vignettes coming later this year uh, featuring uh, Pennywise, at least I hope it's this year. Um, and then again, we've just got a, a, you know, to organize this place is work in it of itself. So I've got an area here. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this, but this is where I'm going to be doing a lot of my projects. So the tools, quite honestly, are going to have to move out of the way in order for me to have room. These shelves are, are nice. There's no way to really put lighting underneath. Uh, I don't think you would see that there's no place to get behind it with a cord although we could certainly cut it out, but these are pretty thick. So I've got this Ot light that just kind of sits underneath and it gets fairly bright, I think even one more level. And so it gives you plenty of light uh, to work under there, which is really, really nice. Uh, love the area to work there. We've got the uh, 
Fisker's mats down so we don't damage the brand new uh, countertop. Um, and this is the countertop, just so you can see. Uh, it is a, um, it is not real uh, butcher block. It is more of a, uh, a veneer type countertop, uh, but we had to stay within budget. And I'll be honest with you, I think it looks just fine. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. I love it. Uh, so we're good there. Uh, turn that light back off just so we can see it. And then again, we've got some organization starting to take place. I mean, if we open some of the drawers down here, uh, again, I've got, I'm trying to keep all my wood stuff sort of together for projects that may be coming up. I'm trying to keep some other just different things. I've got all of my Halloween fencing and things that I've purchased back there to help the villaging kind of go as necessary kind of back here. I've got uh, some of the uh, ground cover, snow, different colors of fall foliage, uh, some sand and just different things in this drawer, mostly for ground cover. But again, I, we just kind of started throwing things together. So I don't know for a fact that this is where everything is going to be staying, but it certainly is where everything is located now. I got my desk over here, got a couple of little lights. This actually is going to help me with uh, a little bit better lighting for my videos. Um, got my iPad there. Um, got a couple of things for uh, mixed media blending and painting and things like that. These are glass uh, uh, boards that you can work on and measure. We've got some of our uh, card making material and uh, Tim Holtz stuff kind of up in the top starting to become a little more organized. So you're asking what kind of crafting we do. We do quite a bit of everything and we're getting into more and more. And so we just love doing some of this stuff. So these drawers are starting to become somewhat, somewhat organized, but then you get down to some drawers and they're just kind of thrown together with no rhyme or reason as of yet. Um, so that's sort of that. I love these drawers down here because they, you can kind of pull them out and uh, got our big uh, Sizzix Big Shot machine down there for embossing and die cutting and some card stock down there. Just trying to keep everything nice and at least somewhat organized uh, as we start to go through this process. This process will undoubtedly take us another month or so to get everything sort of uh the way we want it uh still no no decorations or anything on the shelves that will be coming later and then as we go around this way uh this turned out a lot better than we thought we picked up these baskets these types now the top that you see are more of those costco baskets these little baskets are plastic they were kind of a spring basket uh, at Hobby Lobby, they ended up going on sale for, I think it was 70% off, 60 or 70% off. And we were like, these are going to be perfect for sitting in those shelves area, uh, that shelf area. And so what we, what we've done is we put these little, uh, feet on the bottom, there's a little felt pads to kind of keep from scratching the, uh, shelves as we, slide them back and forth. You can see they're completely chocked full right now of nothing because we haven't started organizing much of it uh, to begin with. It really, honestly, kind of got handed over us complete uh, today. Uh, they finished some caulking around the baseboards, uh, some plug and the uh, capping some of the electrical plugs. You got to remember they pulled all the plugs from behind these cabinets up to where you see them up there and the same thing over there. So they did a lot of work in getting this place right, but absolutely just uh, love it. It is such a incredible feel to be in here and to have all the lights working. And it's just a, what an amazing craft room. What an amazing place to to get the creative juices flowing and to to be sort of relaxed and able to have a dedicated space to crafting. Now, obviously, we lost a bedroom in the process, but it's just her and I that live here. 
we already have one spare bedroom. So this other bedroom was sort of our craft room anyway, but it was so cluttered and so uh, hard to get around and it wasn't properly designed. It was simply a carpeted bedroom that we felt at some point we wanted to turn into our own craft room. And so this is it. This is uh, what we've done. We absolutely love it. We could not be any more proud of this room. We were absolutely ecstatic at the way it's turned out. And there will be all sorts of creating going on in this room. So uh, very, very motivating. One thing I do want to show you is um, we've got uh, this app. It's the Govi app. Uh, and it kind of sits up on my iPad quite often. And it helps to control... Uh, different aspects of the room as far as lighting. And so I've went through, I've gone through and programmed some things. So if, if I want to go crafting room to dim, I can just simply hit this button and you can see sort of the lights dim. And so every evening around four uh, o'clock or so, this is sort of how the craft room is going to look. There's enough light to come in here and be able to see to grab something real quick or go to another room, but there's clearly not enough light to work. And so if you come in and you've got enough light, then you can sit down here, obviously, and you can, you can change this then to, uh, crafting is what I've labeled this piece here. So if you hit crafting, then all the lights come up to bright. Um, and that way you've got all the lights back on. And you are then ready to sit down and work in here. And so that's the good part. Some of the other things that I want to show you that I absolutely love with this is some of the leisure areas down here on the app allows you to do. So like for YouTube filming, I named it. It dims the lights and then turns these lights into more of a uh, sort of uh, front light and a side light, depending on how I'm sitting or standing to kind of help illuminate me out of the background of being so dark. And so when you step back, you know, when I'm starting to make a video, when I did the introduction to this video, that's how those lights were while I was sitting. And this is how the rest of the room sort of looks. It's sort of a, sort of a Halloween look, go figure. And then you can change this to, uh, you can go to, uh, craft room Christmas, and uh, I haven't programmed all of this yet, but if you go to craft room Christmas, this is the one I haven't programmed because it's not time for that, but if you look up at the ceiling, you can see we've got some red and, and green lights up on the ceiling. I can uh, go through and program the uh, the overhead lights, the uh, above cabinet lights, to turn into uh, almost pulsing it looks like snow or ice or, you know, moving Christmas lights up there back and forth. We can change Leslie's work workspace area and her desk to a different color. And all of this stuff is controlled, can be controlled by our uh, assistant as well. So for uh, the ease of operations, I've just, we've named that, uh, that's Leslie's desk. We just call it my desk because she's the only one to be using it. So she can come in and say, Alexa. Turn my desk to white. And so you can see it changes the lights to white. Alexa, turn my desk to green. And so you can see how that's just simply there. Uh, and so you can change all the lights through the voice. You know I'm big on automation as far as home automation. And so that to me is a, is sort of a must. And then obviously one of my favorites is I come down here and I can go to craft room Halloween and we change those lights back to purple. It changes the lights up top to purple. We've got orange and purple up top on all the lights up top. Uh, and then if we come back to uh, Leslie's desk, it has changed back to purple. And this is just a nice moody feeling in here, quite honestly. The camera doesn't do it a whole lot of justice, but, um, it, again, it's not, it's not too awful bad either. So, uh, all in all, we are very, very pleased with this room. Uh, and we are looking so forward to getting, uh, our crafting juices flowing and getting on with it and start creating some pretty cool things 
uh, in this room. The one thing that I will tell you that, you know, we, we didn't think through completely. And so if you're in the process of, of trying to, you think you're going to design a craft room or you're going to build a craft room. We knew we wanted this sort of a look. This sort of kind of goes with the room. It's a, it's a U-shaped area to work. And we knew that's kind of what we were going to get. But we really, I mean, when you think about it, I've got quite a bit of workspace over here and I'm not complaining. It's a lot, but it's not very wide. These desks are not very wide. They're a, a about two foot, maybe just a little bit more than two foot in, in uh, depth. And so we've got, um, and, and so I'm trying to look here. This, this whole piece from, from here to here is 15, uh, 16 inches. So you've, you barely got two foot. As a matter of fact, this, this pad right here, this, um, Fisker's pad is a two foot deep pad. And you see it comes all the way to the edge of the countertop by three feet. So that's a basically my work area right there is two foot by three foot. That's not huge for a lot of the big villages and village pieces that I'm working on. So that to me is a little bit of a, an oversight. I don't know how we would have done it differently. Uh, I don't really want to do it differently. And now that I've seen it, it's absolutely gorgeous. But there's not a lot of room to work back here either. We do have some counter space. We certainly can put stuff out here, but not really to work. And then Leslie over here has got even a smaller area. This is probably uh, maybe it's certainly two foot deep, uh, but probably two and a half foot in length. So even a smaller work area there and even a smaller desk. She liked this side of the room better with these cabinets uh, while I had uh, the cabinets or the, the desk over here by the window. And in Arizona, that's to the west. That's where the sun comes in. So that gets mighty hot <laughs> over there in the summertime. So uh, maybe, so what I'll have to do, I suppose, is when I'm starting to do some, some of my bigger work is I'll just bring in a, a portable table uh, we have plenty of those. You've seen them outside. I'll bring it in. I'll set it up in the middle here. We have plenty of room to do that. It won't be that big of a deal. I'll do my work on there. It can stay in here. There's no need to move it. Nobody comes in here. It's designed for crafting. And then when I'm done or, or moving on to the next area of this, then I can simply move that table out and, and the room looks like it did or like it does right now. So just if you're designing a craft room, you know, or thinking about building a craft room, just something to keep in mind is the, the space at which you're going to have to work with. So hopefully that's helpful. Okay. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed the tour of our somewhat finalized craft room. Again, we've got to go through and get everything organized. That's going to take us a minute because we want to do it right. We don't want to just start throwing things in, in drawers. And then as we've all seen probably within our lives, if we start doing that, we're going to get overcome by events in some other area. And then the drawers, unfortunately, are going to stay that way uh, because you never really have time to come back and undo what you've already done. So we want to try to take our time and get it organized right the first time with everything having its spot and trying to keep it as close to the work areas that we're going to be using for that particular build as we can, so we can have it a little more ergonomically correct on us as well. So still plenty of work to do in here, still plenty of decorating to do in here. We've still got a lot of that stuff coming, but I couldn't wait once we were finished to get, to kind of jump on here and make a somewhat of a quick video to show you one, the excitement behind having it finished, and then two, to allow you to see the new area which we're going to create. I'm gonna do most of my videos in here. There are times where I'm still gonna to have to go out to the kitchen, so if you're gonna miss the kitchen and the videos, not to fear, uh, I will still share plenty of videos with you uh, in the kitchen, and so you'll feel right at home, just like you have for the last few years. Hey, I, I do want to say thank you to everybody that tunes into this channel. I, I really do. I'm encroaching on 5,000 subscribers, which has blown me completely away. I may be there today. If not, I will probably be there by the end of the week. And I just wanted to say thank you. It means a lot that uh, over 5,000 people are tuning in and, and kind of calling this their home for some of the Halloween Village crafting. This is very humbling. Uh, and I'm completely blown away by it. So thank you. If you, uh, if you haven't subscribed and jump on the bandwagon, let's get this channel to continue to grow 
uh, and let's share this hobby with as many of our like-minded folks as we possibly can. What, what a season as we're getting ready to encroach on that. So, hey, like always, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps me out personally. And as you see, it's helping the channel to grow. So we got a lot in store. We're going to finish the Fall Village. We got a, got off track with that, with the craft room being sped up a little bit, uh, unbeknownst to us. So that kind of went by the wayside. So we got to jump back in and get that done. And then I got some other news that I'll share with you on that fall video about some other stuff coming for the Halloween season or, or something may not be coming for the Halloween season. So stay tuned and we'll talk about that during the next fall build video. So until that time, take care of yourselves and we'll talk again real soon.